Hi viewers, uh, this is Hassan and you are watching my YouTube channel. Today's topic is uh, cable banding radius. I hope uh, uh, this topic would be very informative, uh, especially for people who are associated with uh, uh, the installation of cables on site. Uh, this would be very useful for you guys. So let's start with our presentation. So what is cable banding radius? Uh, let me explain you first. A cable bending radius is basically <coughs> refers to the bend in a cable. So if you see in the figure, uh, this uh, cable which is uh, uh, colored in orange is basically a cable which is going to lay in a cable tray or maybe on a in a trench. And you need to define what is the minimum cable bending radius uh, on which this cable can be bent without damaging it. So it is a basically a radius at which a cable can be bent without damaging and the minimum bending radius refers to the lowest radius uh, at which a cable can be bent. So what we understand that a smaller bending radius means a cable would be more flexible. So you need to be uh, you need to calculate this cable bending radius value uh, before installing your cables uh, on the sides where you need uh, some kind of a bends. Um, due to the due to the site conditions okay so let's move forward so uh, when you're going for bending radius uh, you need to first uh, understand that uh, there are two kinds of uh, cable conductors available in the market one is a circular copper conductor this one and the other one is the shape copper conductor so when we are going to calculate for circular copper conductor the banding radius uh, will be calculated with the formula of 6 into uh, overall diameter of the cable. So D is basically referring to the overall diameter of that cable. And the R is basically the banding radius. And F is the multiplying factor for circular copper conductor. The multiplying factor is uh, 6. And for the shaped conductor, this multiplying factor is 8. Okay. And D is basically the overall diameter of the conductor. So uh, let's move forward and see. Um, uh, we will find some example and uh, make things simpler for you so that you will better understand uh, the overall calculations of uh, the banner radius. So, in order to calculate a minimum cable banding radius, what we need to do uh, first, we have to define which size of the cable we are going to install. Uh, here we take the example of a single core copper PVC PVC uh, 150 mm square cable and the overall diameter of this size of cable is 23.20. So this value is basically mm -hmm. derived from uh, the the uh, the table. Uh, let me uh, define you into the table. So this is basically the dimension and weight of a circular copper conductor uh, for single core cables. So here we are taking the example of 150 mm. For 150 mm size cable the overall diameter is 23.20. As we are using the unarmored cable, so uh, the overall approximate diameter of that cable is 23.20. So go back to our example. So the type of the cable we are using is circular copper conductor. So therefore, the multiplying factor is 6. So just multiply with the 6 into 23.20. We're getting the value of 139.20 mm. So the banding radius, the minimum banding radius that we are derived from this formula is 139.20. So that shows that we cannot bend our cable less than this value. If we do that, uh, so our cable may go damaged, especially the insulation. And sometimes in certain conditions, uh, the, under, the conductor inside the cable, uh, inside the insulation uh, may go damaged, especially that some of uh, its strands got damaged, and, uh, which is not good for your cable in a long run. So you need to be very careful when you're installing your cables on the site. So let's take an example of a shaped conductor. So here, this example of shaped conductor, uh, we're taking the example of four core copper PVC 150 mm square. The overall diameter of this cable is 46.3 mm. Uh, let's see into the table table. Cable table. So there are the dimensions, the weight of shaped conductor size cables. So from 35 to 400 mm, these are the shaped conductor four core. And we are taking the example of 150 mm. So the overall diameter of this size of cable is 46.30. So let's go to our example. 
So just be multiplying with the uh, multiplying factor as we are using the shape conductor. So the multiplying factor here is 8. So 8 multiplied by 46.30, which is the overall diameter of this cable. This cable. Okay. So we're getting the value of 370.40 mm. So that shows that we cannot uh, bend our cable less than 370. Otherwise, our cable may go to average and uh, maybe it's insulation or maybe sometime is uh, uh, the conductor also got damaged. So I hope that uh, especially our people who are going to install the cables on the side and make sure that um, they must calculate the cable bending radius, especially when they go into certain conditions where they have to bend the cable due to the side conditions. So I hope this would be very informative for you. Uh, thanks for uh, watching my videos and uh, keep watching my videos and subscribe my channel. I uh, hope uh, I will continue this kind of videos in the future. Thank you so much. Bye for now.